We're here with Alessia Antonori, and we've just had a fabulous lunch at DeMarco in Houston, Texas. And Alessia is visiting Houston from the fabulous Antonori Vineyards in Italy, a globally known brand of wine. You come from a very famous family. I come from a very uh, old family because uh, uh, more than famous because we are in the wine business since 1385 and I'm part with my other two sisters of the 26th generation. 26th generation. Yes. I can't imagine what that is like because in America of course we don't have you know. I feel it on my shoulders. <laughs> yes, do you really? I feel it, yes, because it's a sense, it's a big uh, responsibility, but also a great challenge mm -hmm. to maintain it and to give a continuity to our family business uh, for the future generations. Right. So, Alessia, what if you decided not to go into the family business? Would your father have allowed that? Absolutely, yes. He was very open, uh, but uh, our passion was uh, stronger than uh, uh, other interests that, that we had. And so we decided, the three of us, that uh, our future was in the wine business. We all uh, look after different aspects of the company. I'm looking after the sales in this moment, but I'm a winemaker, and I'm looking after sales of the US market, so sales and marketing. And that's why you live in New York right now. I live in New York uh, since one year, and before, th before that, I was looking after the sales of um, Middle East, Asia, and Australia living in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Oh, that must have been interesting. Yes, a great experience. Asia is a great, interesting, very challenging market. But I think also the United States is a very, uh, they are, it's also very emerging markets, not in the famous cities, but in the secondary states. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to do. Mm -hmm. There's a huge potential to grow. Yeah. Yes, and, and certainly uh, the Antonori name is very well known in America. So it's very well established because we are here since 30, 40 years, mm -hmm. maybe more than that. Yeah. Um, and there are certain wines that are very known, uh, well known in the country, but there are many others that are new projects that uh, we have to uh, introduce to the market. Right. And also for us, it's very important the positioning of our brands. Mm -hmm. uh, so places like today, like the Marco, Italian places, but not only Italians, also Asian, new trendy mm -hmm. uh, restaurants, bars. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a lot of to do. Right. And so your sisters, you're the baby, right? Yes. Sir. And then your other, your two sisters, your two older sisters, what do they do with the company? Albiera, my eldest sister, looks after the image and communication of Antinori, and she's president of a company, of a winery called the Prunotto in Piedmont. And Allegra, my mid sister, mm -hmm. she looks after um, Guadaltasso, mm -hmm. our winery in Tuscany mm -hmm. uh, on the coast. And also she looks after the um, food business, which is not a business really, but we have a restaurant called Cantine Tantinori in Florence, and we opened it in Zurich, Vienna, and Moscow. Mm -hmm. What an international citizen you are, and your family. What yes, fun. It's, uh, it's my father's, um, I would say, education, because mm -hmm. he has been a very open-minded mentality since the beginning, mm -hmm. uh, when he started in the 70s and became president of the company, and for that reason traveled a lot abroad. And uh, I took um, I took this aspect from him, this characteristic from him. And mm -hmm. I love to live abroad. I love to discover new markets and uh, also try um, to experiment. Mm -hmm. It's really in our DNA to experiment and yeah. to try uh, to um, understand what is happening throughout the world. Mm -hmm. So, in your position, you travel around the United States, and you're in charge of sales. So, what what do you do when you visit different cities? Uh, I'm not in charge only of sales, obviously there's a part of public relations uh, mm -hmm. and uh, also having meeting with the press and journalists because mm -hmm. I'm part of the family, so yeah. obviously this is quite normal, being a brand ambassador, uh, but I have meetings also with our distributors, um, I have seminars, um, I and you sales, conduct tastings. Uh, courses, teams, mm -hmm. uh, meetings. I conduct tastings. I go to see the customers. Mm -hmm. I sometimes I make also some deals with the customers. Mm -hmm. uh, I see the chain, the buyers. Mm -hmm. There's a little yeah. bit of everything. Do winemaker dinners. Yeah. Um, so I start a, in the morning at 8 o'clock and I finish at midnight. It's a big job. It's, it's and uh, quite intense, but it's a great job. Yeah. Absolutely. And you're always in contact with great people. Um, that love wine and enjoy life, so yeah. it's a, a great world. It's an exciting life, yeah. absolutely. Now, what is 
your favorite Antonori wine? If you could order, which you can, obviously, but when you go out to eat, and uh, what wine do you like to order? I think it depends also on the season, on the moment of your life. Mm -hmm. um, in this moment, I, I'm i really into a wine that is a very classic, traditional wine of Antinori, which is the Villa Antinori, mm -hmm. uh, which is a wine that you can drink every day. Mm -hmm. It's Sangiovese Bay, so it remembers me in my house mm -hmm. and my land, mm -hmm. but it has a very international taste too, due to the Cabernet, the, um, the uh, Merlot and the Syrah mm -hmm. that are in the blend, and so it's very round, very soft. That is one of my favorites. Another one that is really a great, interesting new wine instead, just not a classic like the Villantinori, is the Bruciato, mm -hmm. which is a new wine that we're producing in uh, Guadaltasso, so in the Bulgaria area, um, which is a blend of, of Cabernet mostly with a little bit of Merlot and Syrah. Um, and it's a second wine of Valdasso. Mm -hmm. And it's very structured and a, a very interesting value per money wine. Mm -hmm. The wines that we had today at lunch, I, I specifically uh, enjoyed the uh, Chianti Classico, I think that was my favorite of, of the lunch. That's the Marchese Antinori, which is a tr very traditional wine uh, mm -hmm. that we produce since a long time. Mm -hmm. And it's a 90% Sangiovese, always based on Sangiovese and 10% of Cabernet. And it's probably one of the most known in the US market. Yeah, and it's very drinkable. Yes, very yeah. drinkable, very soft, but it has the structure mm -hmm. of the Sangiovese. Yeah, I really like that. Now, when you have champagne, because obviously Antinori doesn't make champagne, right? Or uh, do you just only drink Prosecco, or do you have a favorite champagne? No, it's one of the projects that I followed. It's called Montenisa, and it's a Francia Corte. Francia Corte is the most regarded area in Italy to produce Method Champenois, so uh -huh. second fermentation of the bottle, mm -hmm. wines. And it's spectacular. It's a great area, uh, great wine, very fresh, very, uh, very drinkable, mm -hmm. um, and very pleasant. And um, it's very different from a Prosecco. Prosecco, um, it's a Charmat method, and said mm -hmm. this is made in, uh, right. in the bottle, so in second fermentation of the bottle. Yeah. So there's a big difference, and uh, it's a project that we started in '99, and it's a project followed by us three sisters together. So there's no mention of Antinori, but it's only Albiera, Alea, mm -hmm. and myself, Alessia. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I would love to try that. All right, so how do you like Houston? I think Houston is a beautiful city. Uh, I prefer, I prefer probably it's my favorite city in Texas. Um, I think it's it's very young mm -hmm. in a way, which uh, and it has a lot of character. Yeah, so, it does. Mm, and the people and there are, are nice. great restaurants too. And isn't DeMarco? Didn't they do a fabulous job Absolutely. today? Absolutely, it has a lot of you feel at home, yes. which is the most important. The service was great. The food was outstanding. Just the perfect place to dine with Alessia and Tenori and have wonderful food from DeMarco and and your fabulous wines. Thank you so much for Thank visiting you. our fair city. Oh, I have one other question. Uh, when you dine out, which you do a lot, yes. Uh, what is something that irks you when something happens? You know, what what is something that you don't like to happen when you're dining out? Uh, the you most know. important thing and the service. Yeah. And uh, I don't like to stay at a table more than one hour and a half, mm -hmm. two hours maximum. Oh, interesting. And, um, um, also, if you are in good company, oh, I think yes. that one and a half, uh, one and a half or two hours is the maximum. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So the service is extremely important when it is a good service. I really look at it because mm -hmm. I think it's uh, it's becoming something that it's extremely important nowadays. Yeah, I agree. Excellent point, Alessia Antonori. Thank you so much for visiting Houston. You're an absolute delight, and it was it was such an honor to dine with you today. Thank you so much. Thank you. I look forward to your next trip here. Thanks. Okay. Ciao.